American football has been called one of the hardest sports in the world to play. So today I'm going to be training and eating like an elite athlete from the NFL. The average NFL player is over six foot. I am half an inch off of five foot. They weigh everywhere between 100 kilos to 140 kilos. I weigh 50. I am not one to be put down by a challenge. I had to do extensive research for this, but we've done it and we've come up with a little itinerary and a schedule and we're going to be following the likes of Tom Brady and Derek Morgan, whose wife, Charity, actually cooks for the titans according to a website that i found tom brady wakes up at 5 30. it's the weekend i'm not waking up at 5 30. it is 10 30. for breakfast tom brady has a banana and berry smoothie we are going to go buy all the supplies that we're going to need for breakfast lunch and dinner i thought that i at least had bananas so i was going to make the breakfast smoothie before we went to buy supplies but one time ever in life ever there are no bananas so we're going to the shop i do love a little drive anyway i don't like smoothies i think they are just not worth the hassle of getting out a blender cleaning the blender just like even though it takes five minutes to put together the aftermath 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 how do you say that word the aftermath of it is just not worth it for me at all but we have got bananas we've got frozen berries and let's get on it because i'm starving i know a lot of people were saying to use yogurt in a, in a smoothie we're using bubble cream blueberries my favorite don't know how much you're supposed to put in i'm just gonna cut this into tiny little pieces and finally golden syrup is coming out this is what i mean about this just too you know what it definitely looks like a smoothie i don't know about a good one but it definitely looks like a smoothie so there's that i said put in some crushed ice i don't know what crushed ice is so we're putting in normal ice that's good this is fun on me oh gosh oh oh mess glass smells for the contents of the smoothie <gasps> make a mess this has just become too much of a pain here's meal number one it took way longer than it was supposed to if you're a smoothie for breakfast type of person i really admire your dedication because this is just not it for me i'm more of a scrambled tofu i don't think i like that cream in it it is thick and it's sweet so i'm not complaining not my favorite type of breakfast but i don't know if you can tell how thick it is probably not as a snack I would give this an eight. It is really delicious. It is nice. It's sweet. As a breakfast, I don't think this would fill me up. I would give this a three. I don't know how this would be the pre-workout of an elite athlete. Moving on to the next thing. Lunch. Tom Brady apparently has fish with salad. I don't eat fish, but we can definitely make do with vegan salmon. Each of these has 15 grams of protein and it's made from wheat protein. I've never had these before, so we're about to try them together and hopefully this is filling. When we went to Rhodes, I picked up this extra virgin olive oil with rosemary and garlic and I basically use this in everything. It, it's amazing. The other alternative would be instead of having fish fillets, like a, a tofu fillet, just kind of cut it up. You've seen the video where we go to the safari park. I had this kind of fennel salad with a tofu steak. It doesn't smell fishy. I actually don't think that they've done amazing with vegan fish so far. I wonder what professional athletes do in their spare time. Since these actually don't take that long to cook, it's eight minutes just turning over regularly. Let's prepare the salad at the same time. I'm using a mixed leaf salad. I wonder if they have dressing with that. On top of the salad, I'm just going to put some super seed salad topper. Just give it a little crunch. I mean, look, I don't know who she is, but I don't make lunches this cute. I think it looks amazing. Aesthetic wise, I'm giving this a 10. It smells kind of like fish fingers. You like fish dicks? Love I'm just really happy that's given me the excuse to try this because I was never really a fishy person. Like I, I didn't really like fish even before I went vegan. So I would never buy this out of my own accord, but I'm so curious to try it. Oh. Let me just say this. I, I've, I don't have words. I am so impressed here. I think the texture is really realistic as well. Maybe it's a bit thick. Maybe the thickness of the fillet is what's making it quite chewy. But oh my gosh, this is like, I, 
I have no words. I really did not expect this. I would buy this again. I find this delicious. The crunchiness of the seeds on the salad. I don't know why I've never thought to do this before. Maybe the salad could do with dressing of some kind. Again, I didn't know if I was missing anything. Why is this kind of thing not in restaurants? I don't understand. Wouldn't that make vegan food so much more accessible to people if they could buy this kind of thing in a restaurant? Okay, Tom Brady, you're cooking here. I see, I see how it is. It's very easy to cook. It took me like eight minutes. It was just the salmon. Very easy to put together very low maintenance it's the kind of lunch that i need like uh, you know something light with protein this is just we're skipping from the 10 score system to stars five star lunch five stars let's go in about i don't know what an nfl player would do during the rest of this day but i have a lot of editing to do so that i can get the video up for you and does his workout now from a lot of the research that i've done tom brady has quite a different workout approach so we're not going to be following his we're going to be following a more traditional style strength training is very popular in the nfl world obviously because they need to have a lot of muscle especially in their lower bodies to do the explosive movements that they do this website that i found said that there is three strength training days one more agility work i guess that means more like footwork those kinds of drills and plyometrics i don't really know what plyometrics is the workout that i'm going to be following is more of an explosive strength training i'm quite used to strength training programs but this is something very different it's not the traditional heavyweight squats that kind of thing excited to do things like, I don't know, box jumps. confusing uh, there were a lot of exercises that i think without a trainer it's just difficult to really understand what's going on or if you're performing them correctly we tried we did it and after that it's a protein recovery smoothie because after you work out you need to replenish your muscles right let's add some water i don't really know what classifies as a recovery smoothie we're gonna start with protein protein powder we're using the bulk in the chocolate peanut this is a mix of pea protein, brown rice protein, pumpkin seed protein, flaxseed protein, and quinoa flour. So there's a good mixture of things there. We have some flax seeds, so I'm just going to add a bit of that. Then some stevia drops to sweeten it up. The thing about the bulk protein powder is because it's not sweetened with sucralose, which is a good thing, it just isn't particularly sweet. And then for dinner, Charity, Derek Morgan's wife, makes the Titans dinner, which is different every day from my understanding. 
chicken stand, but today we're gonna go for the classic chicken tacos. The charity makes plant-based food for them. Um, so this would be vegan chicken tacos. So without further ado, finally time for dinner, which is good because I'm so hungry. This is the most organized one, the one that tells you in detail what you need to make. Charity makes it with soy curls. We're making it with ready-made chicken because I can't be bothered for that. For these videos, I make the best of the best. I've bought some taco seasoning and we have jalapenos, chipotle salsa, very, very fancy one, refried beans. I don't really know what that means, but apparently they use it. And taco shells. I'm heating up in a pan my oil, cut up an onion. As you know from other videos, I am not a chef. It was really strange filming myself at the gym today. It's not something I usually do. It was very much out of my comfort zone. I think because, you need us crying for food. I think because the gym is so much my safe space, it just feels very strange filming myself there. Here's to coming out of your comfort zone and doing things that make you uncomfortable. If you're enjoying the video thus far, don't forget to like it. <laughs> I'm not sure what these refried beans are, but they look like pate. Let's put some of that in the saucepan. Then we can add the taco mix. Mm. The taco mix smells very nice. This is old El Paso. Honestly, with the beans, I think I misunderstood here. She said Puerto Rican beans. I thought the fried beans was the same thing. I don't, I don't know why I thought that. I'm just gonna put these taco shells in the air fryer. The air fryers are good for everything. She's made it very clear that she makes three for each player. So three tacos it is. I don't even know how you would eat the refried beans. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a taste. This is three tacos filled with vegan chicken, salsa, taco mix, jalapenos, and refried beans and vegan cheese. Three of them, of course, because we have to follow the diet. The jalapenos are soft, which I don't like, but the actual vegan chicken, really nice, really, really nice. I don't like hard tacos. I'm assuming that you can, you know, replace this with soft shell tacos or tortilla wraps. Does anyone else find tacos really hard to fill as well? Because especially the hard shell ones, they're so small, like it's so difficult to put things inside them. I'd rate dinner four star. It's nice. It's not my favorite type of meal. I prefer fajitas as a Mexican dish over tacos. The actual recipe is really great. It, it, it is nice. You know what? Instead of vegan cheese, if you don't want processed food, maybe you can add nutritional yeast. Maybe I went a bit ham on the salsa because it's made the tacos very soggy. I generally love jalapenos, but these ones are not it. All done, delicious. It was missing some like rice or something to go with it, but you know, the free tacos are good enough. Thank you for coming along with me and training and eating like an NFL player. It was not what I thought it would be. It definitely had its challenges. Whenever you do an exercise, or you do something that you've never done before it's always going to be difficult right so if my form definitely wasn't there i think that's definitely something that i should be pursuing with a trainer and not single-handedly even without any weights and just having the bar the actual movement was so difficult to replicate but it's always fun to try out new things so i had a lot of fun doing this my favorite meal was 100 percent the lunch the lunch was mwah. i feel like all the recipes were so quick and easy to prepare like unexpectedly easy to prepare which makes sense you know they're elite athletes 
um, they don't have time to be sitting there cooking all day every day. They don't have time to be sitting there cooking all day every day. So I really appreciated the quick and easy cooking. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and let me know because that way I know if you guys want more videos like this. And if you do want more videos like this, let me know who else you want me to eat and train like. I do have a friend who plays rugby. He could put me for a workout and that would probably be a lot more entertaining than me working out on my own. If you enjoyed this video of me cooking these easy meals, then I know you're going to love this video of me cooking quick and easy, high protein plant-based breakfasts. I'll see you there.